All right, I thought I'd shoot a video on the 9000. We're getting towards the middle of February. Figured we'd better get it up and going. So we pulled the motor. Thought maybe we had a bad valve that went down. But instead, we had a cylinder sleeve that the top ring broke off of and the sleeve went down instead and possibly went up and down because maybe it had scored. Either way, we'd have to overbore that one and find a sleeve that was stepped to match into there. And I don't know, probably the whole process would be a couple thousand dollars just in the block. So the solution to get the tractor back up and running, hopefully for less money and with good results, is so we have this tractor here we had bought in seven years ago in a fire, paid $2,000 for the tractor, bought it for a final drive because one final drive is $2,000. And we sell all these other parts. Got it home, looked at the block, and this is a pretty awesome engine. Studded already, not sure if they did that on the late ones or what, but this is a definitely a late one. Build date is 990, and it rolls over, so we'll pull the head, see what it looks like, hopefully it's better. No grooving, pretty tight hopefully. And then we're going to put that in the other tractor and hopefully throw the other head on when it's rebuilt, some other stuff, and should be ready to go. Hopefully for just some head costs and no block costs. I think it'll be a good answer. Definitely a way better block I think was studded. So we're gonna get this done and shoot a video in the follow-up, putting it back in.